Let me get back to this. Okay. I guess I can't. Well, okay. Basically, um, if you look at the Discord server, y'all, uh, hey, do you think a top 500 costs Atlas more than the rest of the players or no? Uh, probably not. I mentioned before that Atlas Earth wants whales because it makes the parcels pay out less. Okay, anyway. So, I had talked about before, like, the beer money reports in general. I made some mistakes, especially later on regarding beer money reports, and I want to bring it back. And the way that I plan to bring it back... is like this. So the way I plan to bring back beer money reports is I'm going to start. So one of the things I feel like I made a mistake on was trying to make yellow. Oh, geez, that's trying to make yellow the default color because yellow means caution. Yellow means worry. I think a lot of people didn't like that I used the color yellow for that. Um, oh, I'll send you a link to the Discord. Uh, or actually, it's in the description. The Beer Money Network Discord K-Boost. But yeah, yellow is just like a, is like caution. And I feel like a lot of people were looking at it and was like, yellow doesn't seem like it's normal. It kind of made all the, other, all the other apps suspicious. And then when I started adding like a plus minus system as well to it, let me... <laughs> Let me get, okay, yeah. A plus minus system. Like, it works for letters, but like, you know, B plus sounds better than yellow plus. Um, I don't know. I, I, I felt like I was trying to be a little bit too distinct with what app was good and what app was not. Um, when in reality, and especially on the amber red level, I tried to separate the scams from the ones that just weren't very good. When I should have just focused on, hey, these are all just not very good and you shouldn't be going to it and I don't recommend it. You know what I mean? So here on out for the new Beer Money Report system, here's what I'm planning on. Oh, geez. Um, here's what I'm planning on. It's been a while since I've used this. Okay. So the first one at the very top are apps that I will recommend, and that is going to be in green. So this is going to be recommend. Um, oh, geez. Nope. We're not using that. I'm going to stretch this out. So this is where the recommended apps are. Uh, nope. Where's my bold? Don't have bold? Okay, so yeah, this is the recommended apps. Uh, it's going to be in green. Uh, the new color for all default apps is now going to be blue. So this is going to be now the default. So any apps that I don't recommend, but they are clearly legit, I'm making blue. So blue is going to stand for... Legit apps. I'm going to actually make this one a bold this time. So yeah, this will be where the legit apps are. Um, yellow is now going to be the one where I watch. Uh, this. Uh, put yellow. So this is going to be where watch and suspicious apps. So this is the ones I put on watch. And finally, we have red. Red is going to be, whoopsie. The do not recommend. So this is the new rating system. There'll be no pluses, no minuses. This is where we're going to be from here on out. Um, and we can make the, and I mean, we can talk about the initial list. And I'm willing to uh, 
hear out all your different apps. And if I have a rating for them, I will put out a rating. We'll start with Atlas Earth. So I think you all know, and by the way, this list is going to be made public. Rating board. I will make this public to everyone. Okay. So we're going to do app name. Oh, geez. Uh, app name, do rating. Um, yeah, so control E does not work for. Okay, so we're going to start with Atlas Earth. Let me center this. And of course, Atlas Earth is green. How is it not green? Like seriously, it's it's probably it's probably the best of the apps out there. Now, y'all give me uh, names of other apps, and I will throw it into the rating as well. While we're watching Maximus Damages here, so. Also, we got a nice little compromise. Okay, it'll be 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern here on out. We're doing 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Awesome. 2 to 4 p. it is. Ember Fund. Okay, so Ember Fund... <clears throat> So like I mentioned, I have a crypto penalty, anything involved with crypto that has their own crypto and only cashes out with their own crypto, reasonably anyway, uh, I do give a one tier penalty unless they're amazing. If they're amazing, that's a different story. Um, Ember Fund is not one of those. Uh, with Ember Fund, and I'll get back to watching Maximus in a bit, y'all. Uh, one of the things I like about Ember Fund is that, yes, I have been earning a lot on it, and they do have the tournaments and stuff. Um, and I'm aware that mine is very high, but part of that is because I have the referrals. Uh, you guys will be more making something closer to, like, 13 Satoshi an hour, and in some locations, you might get only, like, four. But the tournaments are pretty good. Um, I am a little bit... I would make this one green if it weren't for the predictions. So... Turning these into odds-based predictions and making it so that it was extremely difficult to, like, make anything decent out of this, like, any toss-ups like this, they're clearly trying to make some kind of a house, um, you know, make a house advantage on this and kind of turning this into their own little social casino. I mean, you have the games here with, like, the dice and stuff like this where they clearly have a 2% house edge. So um, I'm still going to make it blue. I think it's I think it's I think it's still pretty solid, so I'll give it a blue. Um any others? Give me some others. Oh uh oh. One moment. Let me get this back on here. And I'll have a and I'll have a more full list too in the next uh, in uh, the beginning of November, but I'll give you my ratings like right now, right now for some of these for some of the apps here. Thanks, Rob. By the way, and yeah, we're not doing any pluses or minuses. Um, that's way too specific, Benjamin. Oh, geez, at one time Benjamin was the king. Um, I think Benjamin, I've been hearing way too much about cash out issues with Benjamin. Way too many. Um, now, I am going to put Ben, ugh, this is a tough one because at one time Benjamin was an easy green and people are still making money off of it. But with all the complaints I've been hearing about Benjamin, it has gotten to a point that I'm a little bit nervous on it. So I'm going to make it a yellow. 
Um, only for now, when I put it under watch, if I see that the cash outs are still working okay, and I'm able to cash out okay, then I'll put it back to blue. But I don't think, I think as days as green are definitely no longer there. Oh yeah, uh, it's funny too, the Ember Fund prediction, uh, Boulder Crypto, the one that I did for that one, I actually finished in the top 100 out of like 8,000. Those were great. So yeah, I would give uh, Benjamin a yellow. Um, it's not providing the value used to, and if it's not, and I'm also putting it under watch right now because of everyone talking about cash out issues with Benjamin, but I will put it back to blue if it turns out that there's a way to cash out that's okay. And you will hear about it in a future video. But I have gotten at least like two or three. Tester up. Okay, so tester up. I actually am going to leave as a question mark for now because I have not seen tester up. And I've been meaning to download it. But, um, you know, a lot of stuff gets in the way. I'll, I'll throw it into the queue, though, for sure. It's It'll be in the queue. Um, anyone else? Oh, you know what? Bridge. So bridge... At one time, I dropped it to blue. Um, I think I'm going to keep it at blue. Though, because uh, I need to know what earn plus, uh, what non earn plus members are doing. Are they able to get good enough gift cards with it? And if they get a PayPal or a Walmart gift card, Bridge will go back to green. Bitcoin Miner Tycoon. Um, blue or yellow, I'm not really creeping it on a watch. And it does connect to ZBD, and that Lightning Wallet is a bit of a pain in the butt. I'm going to go with yellow. No, I'm going to go with yellow. I, I, uh, I would keep that on a watch, just because, like, I, I know other people are able to just, like, Cash out to the ZBD wallet, stuff like that. But also, like, it's it's got, like, I'm almost, like, tempted to put it into red because this is just almost... People have been making any decent money out of Bitcoin Miner Tycoon. Like, when I was on it, I was making, like, five Satoshi, like, an hour. International... Okay, one mistake I made was saying international players get to 65. After research, found it to be 60. Let me see this here. Hang on for a moment. I'm going to take a look. Atlas Earth Rent to Boost Outcomes. Oh, it is 60 now. It was 65. It was 65 at the time. I don't know if they changed that. It was 65 at the time. I don't know. It. Okay, it's 60 now. I'll make an errata on it. Real Rush. Okay, Real Rush is actually going to be. Um, this might replace Sweatcoin. I'm replacing it, which, by the way, Sweatcoin, I'm making that one a red. I don't recommend it. It sucks. Um, I will give Sweatcoin credit on one thing I got a deal on a 91% off Office 2021 lifetime. Uh, that's cool, but the fact that I can't cash out to have any real cash on it, no, I, sweat coins are red. But I'm doing real rush instead for the next review. And yeah, sweat coin doesn't deserve a review. It, it's a red. It's red. Fetch. I think they're called fetch rewards. Um, ooh, a lot of okay, cashback rewards apps are tricky because a lot of it depends on what they give you cashback on. Now, with fetch's case, ooh, I'm gonna say. I mean, they pay. I'm going to... 
I'm gonna go with blue for now. It's fine. Um, I don't use it, but I know plenty that do. Mode. That's an easy red. Sorry, I, I'm not a fan of mode at all. Hey, you know what? No, yellow. You know what? It might it might be a while. I'll take a look. I'll take a look at mode and get back to you. I'll put it on yellow. Um, it has been a year since I would have put mode in red, but I have been hearing people enjoying mode again, so I'll give it a shot. I'll take a look down the line. Um, another one as well, Upland. Would have also been another app that's an easy red. I'm putting that one at yellow for now as well. Yeah, sweat sweat wallet is okay. Sweat, but you know what? Sweat coin slash sweat wallet. All right. Coin. Well, this one doesn't take a genius. <laughs> Coin is terrible. Um, I'm only using it to get Ethereum. But honestly, no. Nah. -uh. Pocket 7 games. Same thing. Now, you can make a lot of money with Upland or Pocket 7 games. Definitely not Coin. But Upland or Pocket 7 games. But the way that they do these skill games, y'all, is they pair you up against people of similar skill level. So you might start out like making money by taking on like easy opponents, but eventually you're gonna start losing money to the rake if you're if you keep going at 500. If you keep now, if you play at 60% win ratio forever, then maybe you might make a little money. But the way that it works is they take the rake and they pair you up against players of similar levels. So you don't really, so most people aren't, aren't going to make that much money off of it. So I'm, yeah, pocket seven games is a red. It was the one that I'm thinking of. All skill based games, I would put as red or yellow, honestly, the skill based games where you're basically just gambling. You're betting a dollar against another opponent to win a dollar and 80. Uh, is Maximus still going? Let me see where Maximus is at. 45, 457. Okay. And yeah, I do talk to Maximus. I mean, we're not, I wouldn't, I don't think we'd consider each other friends yet, but we've talked to each other a couple times, so. <clears throat> How does Atlas Match make their games? Um, Find people within the same realm of wins, I guess. I don't know how they match make their games, honestly. It might be something that we can talk to Manning about in a future roundtable. No problem, K Boost. Thank you for uh, showing up. This has been an awesome stream, y'all. I should have like a viewer count too somewhere. I'm going to check Streamlabs to see what else I can throw into this. <laughs> ah, it feels good. Okay. Um, any others? <clears throat> you notice there's a huge lack of green here. I'll put another green. My personal. Free cash. I think free cash has definitely deserved their green rating. They've been pretty consistent for a while. Unity doing matchmaking? Huh. Uh, Swagbucks! Whew. 
I don't like sweat. I don't like the lack of free money available in swag bucks. But considering that they do have surveys, they have other stuff. Ooh, green or blue? That's a tough call. Yeah, I'll give them a green. I can't guarantee they're always going to be green. They're probably the lowest green. But yeah, I'd probably put them as green. Honestly, if I put them as green, then I got to make bridge green too. Um, Because bridge... Bridge still makes decent money, even if it's just gift cards. One pulse... Uh, solid green. 20 a month. I mean, if you can make 20 a month off of it, solid green. Their, their surveys are pretty good. Honestly. Their surveys are real good for the price. Um, actually, while I'm at it, Amazon MTurk. I'm going to make as green as well, just because of their... Uh, so the reason why I'm going to make them a green, and I'm going to make Prolific a yellow is basically down to barrier of entry. Like, yeah, you make more on Prolific than MTurk, but the problem is that Prolific is just lazy in who the, in just their security and how they bring people in. If you have a phone number from someone who was a Prolific user from 15 years ago, you can't join Prolific. All right, so I, I cannot... Re matter of fact, I'm almost tempted to put red for Prolific, honestly. Because Prolific is just... Like, if you can't get in, like, if a sizable chunk of people can't get into this, that I can't recommend it, <laughs> you know? So, I'm sorry, yeah, it's, yeah, I'm going to say red, actually. I can't recommend Prolific. I'm sure, now I'm sure this one's actually pretty controversial, because a lot of people swear on Prolific, but those are the people that can actually get in. For the people that can't get in, it's a real problem. Yeah, they're, yeah, so I'm putting a red on them. MTurk, while pays less, is a little bit better with their, it's a little bit easier. You have to be like, you have to be very unlucky or very suspicious to not be able to get on MTurk. Like, of the people that I know who tried MTurk and Prolific, maybe like half of them can get into Prolific. But about 95% of them can get on MTurk. <clears throat> so, yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure Prolific will make a good stride in Beer Money Mania. I'm sure they'll make a round or two in there, but I'm just giving you my opinion on that one. Oh yeah, I haven't done the 2x3 gameplays too. Yeah, I only get one. You can get three search wins now. I thought they dropped that to one. If I can do three, I'm going to go for try to get three. Shoot. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, how about I do another ad? Let's do another ad. Oh, I want to add. I'll do my next ratings for these. Come on. All right. I just want to not have an ad when I do these clips. But uh, I did add... I'm going to add two more here. Cash Kick is going to be under investigation for right now. I'm seeing a lot of ads for those. Um, Shop Kick is going to be a red. And I'll show you exactly why. Go to Shop Kick. So I got to 1,250 kicks via their promotion, where if you scanned three items, you get 1,250 kicks. 
I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna try to cash out here. Redeem kicks. Uh, let me turn this off a little bit so I can do the uh, do the stuff, guys. So let me get the this one. No, which one is it? Is this one? Okay, one second. Okay. Redeem kicks. Yes. And I get this message. There is an issue redeeming your reward. For further assistance, please reach out to support at shopkick.com. We appreciate your patience. So I actually uh, emailed support at shopkick.com. And support at shopkick.com told me that it was because I didn't do enough kicks. And I was like, what do you mean I didn't do enough kicks? It was your promotion that you were going to give me $5. See, they, they even keep showing me this message. So no, I don't recommend Shopkick at all either. It is a red. Hi, I think that's good enough for an initial list actually. Unless anyone else got more, uh, we got five more minutes. We can keep watching Maximus Damages for the re for the remaining time. No, okay, he's still buying. Cool, he's in Kent Nero's. <clears throat> Just play. Now, I personally didn't make too much money on this. But of the people that I have talked with, I'm actually going to make this a green. I think it's borderline green or blue. Isle Empire? I have no idea. Uh, I don't know. Probably just put it hold in this one. There you go. I will take a look at Idol Empire. But now you guys are seeing like the new rating system that I'm going to have. Does this seem like a better rating system to you guys? Does this seem like it's a little bit more solid <clears throat> to y'all? Because I feel like I feel like this is bet we have more discrete points as to like okay, a green is a very good app. A blue is an okay app. Go try it out. Yellow, little suspicious maybe, under watch. Red, it doesn't have to be a scam, but it might not be worth your time. I can't recommend it. I feel like that's better than what we were doing in the original reports. <clears throat> 